And to know more updates in the field, we are now connected with our reporter Arya Siddhartha and future journalist Reza Anindita. Arya, has the gas station adjusted the fuel price for now? Right, so as the minister has spoken uh, earlier, uh, the day that a lot of us have feared has now arrived, which is prices for f subsidized fossil fuels have now officially increased. It increased a little over an hour ago at around um, 2.30 Western Indonesia time. Uh, so you can see it right now in, for example, the, um, the gas stations, such as the Pertamina gas station that's right behind me. Um, the prices have now already been instated and all the increased prices are now what you will be paying for when you fill up the gas station. So just to reiterate the rundown, the prices as been stated by the minister. So um, those hoping to buy Pertalite, uh, is now in, the Pertalite has now increased to 10,000 rupiah per liter, going up from 7,650 rupiah. Subsidized solar will now cost 6,810 rupiah per liter, going up from 5,150. And for non-subsidized Pertamax, you'll have to pay 14,500 rupiah per liter, going up from 12,500. Now again, th this new policy uh, is implemented today at 14.30 Western Indonesia time, so a little over an hour ago. So the reaction to this news uh, have somewhat been mixed, as of course no one is no one is ever going to be happy that fuel prices are going up. A lot of people have um, understandably been upset at the news. Of course, rumors regarding a price increase for fuels have been circulating for a while now, with some counter rumors actually saying that actually there will no be no price increase. But uh, as we learned today, that is completely false and. For a lot of those people who believed in the initial rumors that prices will increase, well, um, of course, the idea is that they want to stockpile the fuel before the price increases happen. Now, people in the greater Jakarta area, uh, area especially in Jakarta satellite cities, for example, in Bekasi, have uh, reportedly gotten pretty crafty with how they stockpile fuel prior to the price increase. For example, since filling up a jerry can full of fuel, um, is not allowed, of course. Uh, people would instead bring their motorcycle, fill up the gas, uh, fill up the tank all the way to the brim, go home and empty out the tank, and then recycle and repeat, going back again, emptying out again. So just as a, a workaround to be able to stockpile fuel before a price increase. But of course, meanwhile, other citizens, despite the increase, of course, have expressed a little bit of relief that um, while the fuel will be increased, there will be some form of aid that will uh, hopefully alleviate the increased costs from that price increase. For example, because as the president has mentioned earlier in the press conference, a portion of the budget for subsidized fuel will instead be allocated to direct financial aid to low-income citizens. Now, this financial aid comes in the form in several forms. So, a portion of that uh, in amounting to 12.4 trillion rupiah uh, for, will be allocated to 20 million low-income families, which amounts to 150,000 rupiah of um, uh, assistance, financial aid for uh, fuel. Again, also 7.6 trillion rupiah will be um, distributed, to, distributed to 16 million workers. Um, those workers must have um, a maximum of 3.5 million uh, per month of wage, so that's just to ensure that this goes to the right hands, which amounts to around 600,000 rupiah. And finally, 2.17 trillion rupiah will be allocated to um, local governments' uh, public transportation budget. So this will um, in turn turn into subsidies for minibuses, online um, motorcycle taxis, and so on. So President Jokowi, as he himself has stated, that this is a last resort that he didn't want to make, but he had to make because the state budget for subsidized fuel has increased about three times um, this year from 152 trillion to a whopping 502 trillion rupiah. This, of course, a lot of it is due to the ongoing um, geopolitical situation right now. For example, um, how sanctions from Russia has uh, impacted oil prices around the world. So Indonesia is no different. One, but despite the large increase, the subsidies, um, the subsidies for fuel, um, which is the catalyst for the uh, adjustment to begin with, has a lot of it been used up by citizens who are not of low income. So that's why 
uh, President Joko Widodo wants to enact this new adjustment policy because 70% of the subsidized fuel uh, budget is actually being used by non-low-income citizens. For example, those who drive and own personalized, uh, personal automobiles. So hopefully with these new policies in place, the subsidies and financial aid can finally go to those people who need it the most. Back to you guys. Arya, thank you so much for your elaborative uh, report. Uh, we've been informing her for this and uh, we might want to talk about this in our second um, hour, yeah?